All right. So Professor Liu want to、uh, teach you how to create a program with a loop. We're going to start from a program without a loop. For example, here, develop a C plus a program that prompt the user to enter a grade. The program display the grade. So that is the program like you did from chapter one to chapter six. Enter a grade, C in grade, and you display grade. Let me run this program with you. If you build this program, and ah、uh, you you debug this. So enter grade ninety. The program stop. There's no looping at all. Now we want to loop right now. All right. So we follow uh the looping um rules right there. Since this one is going to read, there's one input. Great is one input. If there's only one input, we use while loop. While loop require two reading. Exactly the same read, but read what twice. The first time is before the while loop. Second time is、uh, inside the while loop, but last two sentence, last two statement. So we do this right now. So first student, you going to copy these to here. You run it. That's your start up. Then we going to modify this. Modify by this. The program say we want to loop continue until the user enter a sentinel of negative one. So we better tell the user that we say enter negative one to stop the program. All right. So we tell user that right now. Okay. So these we serve that as first read. As told you, the first read is usually before the while loop. So immediately after that, I want to use while loop. Ah, I'm going to check my variable, and not equal to the sentinel is negative one. So not equal to ah, sorry, not equal to negative one. And here is very important. Don't put semicolon, and right away put a、uh, Uh, open curly per per per、uh, open curly parentheses, and this is statement you wanted to be asked in every single input. Then you want to cut it and put right here. All right, I cut here now. As I told you, uh, for the while loop, you need to read. This is the first read. Let's copy that. Let's copy that. Control C. And put inside the while loop, inside the while loop, but the last two statement inside the while loop, but last two statement. Okay, so I am going to change this one to update read. So one more time, you are going to change this as looping right now. What you do is you have the first read, and your while loop. The reason we chose we chose while loop because there's only one. Input and your update read is after your um、uh, after your after your statement. You need to be asked asked in every single input, and these two statement will the update read will be inside the while loop. Last two statement. One more time. First read is before while loop. Second read is inside while loop, but last two statement. So let's run this program right now. So I do the same thing, ninety, but this one the program don't stop. Instead of you ask me to continue, I put eighty nine. Okay, I put seventy six. I want to stop, and obvious the stop is to press negative one. So I put negative one. And the program will stop. All right. So this is your number one. I hope you understand to create loop with a while loop. To create loop with while loop.